All right. So tell me about this robot, man. This, the, the, what you were telling me the other day, it's just, it's just killer. Well, on this one here, we have the, the headrest assembly for our chair, mm -hmm. and there's uh, 43 parts that stack up inside here, some washers and some friction plates, and we have some glide bar and a clevis, so we have to build, put that all together. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for them out there on the assembly side where these 10,000 thick washers even handle them to put it together and assure that we have them all there. Hmm. So on this fixture, we're uh, got some slides on it and it actually pick in places and puts them all onto that stud. Why do you, do you feel the need to use Inventor, a 3D modeler, in order to do that? Why can't you just use like, I don't know, a whiteboard? It's the communication to the customer. When they ask for a tool, it's hard you know, for 2D drawings to get people to understand what you're trying to do. But when you have a 3D model, you can spin it around, they can see it. It's very clear to them what they're getting and what we're paying for to have done. What, what spawned this project beyond just the, the manual nature of it? I mean, you know, a lot of people, it's, it's pretty easy to just stick with the things you've always done. I mean, what was the point of, of what, making it automated? We can save 804 hours of labor hours, and it's about $22,000 in savings a year. Wow. Now, when we're, uh, when we're walking in, I noticed that, the, that they're uh, up, on the, up on everybody's monitors. At each station, they, they had Inventor, so, so they're even using the, uh, the drawings and the models as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. They'll take all my files, they'll import right into MasterCam all the solid models, and then they'll attach all the tool paths to machine the parts out right off of those. Nice. So, so what, what about your, your, your ability then to react to change? You know, when, when engineering comes down and says, hey man, we're, we're changing the design of this, um, has as Inventor involved? Is, is that is that working well for you? Just by getting Inventor involved, and we can all start working with it and see things better. And we'll do design reviews. We all come in and look at things and comment on what we could change, what we can do differently. And it's a good communication tool for us. We can get ergonomics a lot better. We can kind of see the shapes, how things are going to flow, and being able to have you know three axis machines to machine all these swoopy details and with engineering going to a lot more organic type shapes mm -hmm. in tooling we have to support all that so it's forcing us to also follow through all that with our fixturing. A lot of the stuff we're building you can't just go buy anywhere it's got to be developed I mean a lot of R&D type stuff stuff that you know it's special to ADEC I mm -hmm. mean we have to create our own ideas to get some of the stuff done so it suits our needs. So hey, just like we saw in engineering, the, uh, the value of the intellectual property and the quality of that that goes into every aspect of design even carries through into tooling. So Robert, thanks a lot for your time, man. Thanks and uh, we'll see you again, all right? All right. Last and certainly not least, I meet up with the technical illustrators, Chris Phillip, to introduce Autodesk Inventor Publisher to him and the Inventor Publisher mobile app. We'll see if I get my iPad back.